Do you remember these? For decades, the yellow pages were a must when looking for business listings. I like purple. For 10 of those years, purple. after going to school for commercial art, Gina Palma worked at the yellow pages. <laughs> the phone book. <laughs> you did illustrations for the phone book? Well, we, we used to do layouts and stuff like that for the phone book. Oil. Gina eventually went back to school for programming while her art moved into the background. I took a very long hiatus from art. Now I'm getting back into doing art again, and I really enjoy a lot of this I did in the last year, <laughs> you know, COVID, yeah. you know, painting a lot. It reduces stress level a lot. You can find a gallery's worth of Gina's art at Papillion Landing, part of the three month rotation of local artists that's open to the public. You're going to get so many different, different opinions from different people because, you know, really it's not the eye of the beholder, it's really from the artist's view. Um, is where I come from. Sometimes it could be totally abstract or anything like that, and it might not mean anything to anybody else, but it certainly means something to the artist. Do you have a favorite one from the collection you have up right now? These rocks over here, um, we, we go to Aruba, it's, there's all these huge rocks, and they're not just rocks but they're boulders and stuff and they're just beautiful the tide is very rough and everything and it's just very powerful and the wind blows along and it's it's just really really nice so i think that's probably one of my favorites because i love that area so much gina enjoys putting colors together that maybe some artists wouldn't um, but if it's good enough for nature uh, artists will talk about rules and everything but look at nature you know there's purples and blues and all along, you just have to look closer to, you know, all the colors that is in nature. For Papillion Now, I'm Michael Severe.